the title for tonight is called The Power Degrees of the Zodiac. It's, um, first of all, those of you who have read the ISR Journal um, article, it's pretty much the same. I'll be reflecting on similar examples. Um, hopefully there'll be new new people uh, or that, um, that are new to the to this area, haven't read my work on this before. Um, and we're at a very interesting time, of course, because uh, what I'm looking at tonight, or today, uh, it's eight o'clock here in London, um, what I'm looking at are the, the first and the final degrees of the sign. So zero degrees and 29 degrees of the sign. I've got different examples, but we're at an interesting time, of course, because Uranus is at 29 degrees Aries at the moment, about to step into Taurus. And perhaps there's something that we could have a chat about a bit later on, if you wish to ask any questions about that or want to share any of your thoughts about uh, Uranus moving into Taurus or indeed Uranus at the very end um, of Aries. So I'll mention a bit about that along the way, but feel very welcome to to add your comments, your insights, etc. Um, as I go through the talk tonight, just to say that I don't think that zero and 29 degrees are the most important areas of the chart, but they're very interesting. And it's an ongoing research project of mine, really, to observe that with clients, to hear stories, to hear the planets and the signs uh, appear in those stories and manifest in those. So um, you'll have your own examples, hopefully, that you may want to share as well uh, during during tonight. So feel very welcome to do that. All right. So let's let's start off by zooming in. If you get um, car sickness or seasickness, this might be an interesting lecture because it's going to be quite movable. Right. Um, we know that when planets move into new signs, uh, there's a shift in consciousness, particularly the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. We know that when they reach the final few degrees of the sign, 27, 28, 29 degrees of a sign, we start to see um, elements, people, situations linked to that planet in that sign come to an end of some kind. Often uh, people who have represented Uranus in Aries, for instance, may fade, may die, may leave uh, in some sort of way. So we often watch um, people who have been at the heart of that ingress uh, leave in some way or make their mark and the, the energy shifts by the time the planet moves into the new sign. It really feels like an end of an era. Um, and when a planet moves into the new sign, we get a sense of what's to come, the signposts. I always say if you really want to understand what Uranus in Taurus is going to be about, observe everything. Read the news, soak up the information around you while it's at the first degree of Taurus, zero degrees Taurus. It will give you an idea of what's to come, the mood of the new transit, <clears throat> and you'll get a sense of um, really the feeling of it and what, what we're in store, what's in store for us. <clears throat> so the scene is set for the years ahead. Um, let's take a look. 